My name is James Aliban, Senior Manager of Product Strategy at Tessian. Tessian is a complete email security platform preventing threats coming into the organisation and going out of the organisation. So that's really uh, phishing attacks, impersonated emails, um, misdirected emails inside of threats. Threats have, haven't really changed actually in the last 15 years, which makes it really interesting because what we've really tried to do is secure email with the legacy approaches in the modern world. So of course, threats that have been created through home working environments and um, environments around, you know, with the offices changing in the, in the new environment. So what that really means now is people are sending emails to the wrong places. People are taking data with them as they move company. And of course, phishing attacks are higher than ever. Actually, 31% of uh, businesses deal with phishing attacks on a daily basis. So of course, that creates a whole new attack vector that we have, we have to really deal with through today. These threats really result in data loss. That's the most important thing to protect as an organization. The attackers, it's the most important thing for them to gain. They want to gain data to be able to either sell financial gain or utilize that against an organization. So really, as I said, data loss is the most important thing to protect. Tessian sits in the security stack to protect emails, so coming in and out of the organization. What's really cool about Tessian is we really sit there to interact with the, the end user as well. So we send end user alerts to tell them that it may be a phishing attack or it may be a phishing email and really describe what we're seeing. What that does is makes it really human orientated. It gets, helps the end user really understand what that means. And of course, also what we do is a more advanced attack or attacks that we know are phishing emails, we just stop them. We don't let them get anywhere near the end user. So it's really bringing the end user and, and, and making sure that what we can do is make a better educated user um, to interact with that email. So what we do is we, put, we use something in the back end called behavioral intelligence modeling. Behavioral intelligence modeling essentially creates relationships with the user, who they talk to, what interactions they have. It goes down to natural language and processing. So what that really means is that ultimately we know how they even address somebody. They may call me Jay, for example, instead of James. And then also then somebody's addressing me as James. There's a natural break in the process there. So from that point of view, we're really using that modeling, understanding, using that natural language and processing to really understand and create a picture of that user. What we also do as well is we understand the risk score of that user. So if they've clicked on a phishing link or they've sent an email to the wrong place, we know that they're a more risky user. So from that point of view, creating all of those models together really creates an intelligent platform. That platform has intelligence to understand what's coming in, what that phishing email is and how risky that user is to the organization. What's actually really cool about Tessian is it's out of the box, plug and play. We, you can set up within a matter of minutes. It then grabs all of the email data for 12 months and utilizes that to build those behavioral intelligence models. There's no policy involved. We do have a policy engine to create flexibility for many organizations, but you don't actually need to use that. It's all policyless. We literally plug and play and you build, that, build those models out, out. We're using the end user behavior to build and create the policies in the back end. But from the security operations point of view, they're not having to go through and build a policy to suit them. We're building that for you. I think really Tessian on a whole is for many, many different scale of organizations. Of course, naturally we focus on enterprise level and really alleviating and, and helping security operations at that level. So really alleviating stress off the SOC with those automated policies in play. So bigger organizations definitely do benefit from Tessian. But as I said, many organizations at different scales can definitely benefit from securing email as email is everywhere across many different organizations. So it's so good to be back at InfoSec after three years of not being here. So the reason we're here is we're promoting Tessian, of course, the intelligent cloud email security platform that we, we have today. We've grown that over the last couple of years and of course haven't been able to be at events. And we're showing our customers and showcasing the platform, demonstrating that, showing the capabilities, how the interaction with the end user looks like and giving the giving the people and security and risk leaders here at the event a showcase, a whistle-stop tour of Tessian to really prime their interest and understand what we do, how we do it, and how easy it is to integrate.